Mike Johnson has a few things he wants to say to Hannah Brown after she faced major backlash for singing the N-word. This is your Bachelor Brief. So Mike, who competed for Hannah's final rose during her stint on The Bachelorette, and was a clear front runner among fans to become the franchise's first black male lead, called the former beauty queen's actions, quote, unacceptable. Quote, what Hannah did was unacceptable. Issues like this bring light to the bridge of pop culture and racism within our country, he told TMZ, adding, quote, I'm inviting her and everyone to a conversation in hopes to educate everyone that this type of behavior needs to be changed and is unacceptable. She shouldn't have said the N-word. It's pretty damn simple to me. Hannah went live on Instagram while trying to learn the TikTok dance to rapper DaBaby's song, Rockstar. During the course of the popular song, she sang lyrics that included the N-word. After fans called her out, she went between apologizing, suggesting it might have been her brother who actually said the word, and saying, quote, she never used the N-word. I really don't think I would I said that word. I don't, I don't think I said that word, but now I'm like, oh God. I've never used that word. I've never called anybody that. We don't say we that We don't word. say that word. We're not allowed to say that word. My dad would kill us. So, do you know what? I'm gonna stay here. Y'all can think I said whatever I did or think I'm something I'm not, but I'm not that. The 25 year old also issued a more formal apology on her Instagram stories after her live stream started making headlines. Quote, I owe you all a major apology. There is no excuse and I will not justify what I said, she wrote, adding, quote, I have read your messages and seen the hurt I have caused. I own it all. I'm terribly sorry and know that whether in public or private, this language is unacceptable. I promise to do better. But former bachelorette Rachel Lindsay reached out to the former beauty queen directly to let her know she was, quote, personally hurt and offended and just wants Hannah to do better. I thought, let me challenge this person to use their platform because last night it was used in a different way. So let me challenge them to use it in a better way, right? Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe they didn't realize the intention behind it. So let me give them opportunity to now use their platform to correct that mistake. But then she saw Hannah's short apology on her Instagram story. I am personally hurt and offended that I gave somebody the opportunity to do that and it wasn't done. Now, I understand that an apology was made, but when I know what could have been done, when I know what I challenged someone to do, they refused to do it or they did not do it. I should put it that way. They did not do it. So I felt like I'll use my platform to do it because you know, it's easy to make a statement. It's easy to hide behind words. But when you're bold enough to say the N-word on camera, on your platform, then you need to be bold enough to use your face and your ca on camera and apologize in the same way that you said the word. Like, I'm not discrediting the apology. I'm just saying that we can't give people a pass for this. We have to hold people accountable for what they're doing. Rachel wasn't the only one to condemn Hannah's behavior. Bachelor Nation fave Nick Vial also addressed the issue on his podcast. Quote, listen, Hannah Brown has a massive platform. She has been very outspoken about her desire to be a role model specifically to young women out there. She has talked about it a lot. When I was a young girl this, when I was a young girl that, and quite frankly, her going on Instagram Live, whether she was inebriated or not, and using that word in any context whatsoever is not being a role model. Nick shared in a sneak peek from the Biofile podcast per E! News.